we're here in Manchester Arena, home once to Manchester Giants. You know, what's it like for you to be in a venue like this and play in USA on Thursday night? Oh, it's an unbelievable dream come true. Um, you always dream about playing the best in the world, and it's coming to fruition on Thursday. So just uh, been uh, thinking about this game for a long time and preparing and uh, it's going to be an enjoyable, emotional night. In terms of, you just say that you've been thinking about it, is is it all been up to this? Is this what the lead-up is? Or right, are you Sky trying Sports to News. get that you out of your head for the Olympics? <laughs> um, I'm just taking one game at a time, and this is the next one. So, yeah, this is the pinnacle right now. And then uh, we'll have another eight days or so to get ready for the Olympics. So this is just one of the steps in our preparation. Um, you know, the true dream is uh, staying on the medal stand with one of those Olympic medals. In, in terms of, you know, you've played your trade in the BBL, you know, you've been an absolute stalwart through, throughout many years. How is it for you to represent that kind of level of basketball, you know, to say, you know, the BBL can have quality players playing on an international level? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I first got to the BBL, there's quality players through and through, um, and a lot of them went on to play in Europe. Um, Myself and you know Drew, that's on the team now, played in Europe for a while. So yeah, the BBL um, it can produce a lot of great talent, and hopefully we represent that well. And uh, you know, going into the Olympics, just uh, hopefully we can you know pass that torch on to younger guys and say you know you can make it. Are you hoping that a lot of BBL fans are going to turn up on oh, Thursday yeah. night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just uh, you know, just as the home fans and the, the stands, it's a great thing. I mean, there's a big group of fans. I'm sure you've seen them around when they follow you about, you know, they are hoping for a really, really proud performance, I'd say. You know, they don't want to expect expect a miracle, but are you hoping to give them a shot? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, you always got to believe in miracles. So we're just going to go out and put the greatest effort we can. And, uh, you know, we're trying to improve each day, each game. And this is just, like I said, another step to preparing for uh, that July 29th game. And um, Luol mentioned the other day, you know, he had a hell of a lot of praise for you in terms of what your, you know, impact is on the team, you know, with all the other guys in the squad. How do you feel that, you know, with a guy like Luol Deng to give you that kind of much credit? That's a great honour. Um, like I said, I've been around a long time and, uh, you know, I'm the old guy on the squad. So it's <laughs> taken a lot to stay at this level and stay in shape. So I try and pass that knowledge on. And, and just seeing someone that lose caliber of player um, give me that praise, it just means a lot. Fantastic. Well, good luck for Thursday night, and I hope you have a fantastic performance. Thank you. Cheers.